In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up SFML in Visual Studio. So let's start by going to the SFML website, the download tab, and then the latest stable version. Now make sure you choose the right download option. So check if your system is 32-bit or 64-bit and check which version of Visual C++ you have. Pay attention that the version of Visual C++ is not the same thing as the version of Visual Studio. In my case, I have Visual C++ 15 and a 64-bit system, so I will choose the top right option. This will probably be the case for 98% of you. Now that we have downloaded SFML, we need to create a Visual Studio project. So open up Visual Studio, click on create a new project and select empty project. Now name your project, choose a location for it and include the solution in the same directory. Then open up your project directory and create the libraries folder. Now from the zip file you've downloaded, extract the lib and include folders in the libraries folder. Go back to the main directory of your project and extract all the files from the bin folder into it. That's it for the files, you can close the zip file. Now boot up your Visual Studio project and in the solution explorer, right click on your project and go to properties. First. Make sure you have selected all configurations and all platforms. Under configuration properties, go to VC++ directories and edit include directories. Now type dollar sign solution directory slash library slash include slash and click on OK. Now do the same thing for library directories except write lib instead of include. Now under linker, go to input. SFML has two separate sets of files for debug and release mode. So if we want to use both, we need to configure both. So make sure your settings are applied and then change your configuration to release. Now in additional dependencies, write the following. Now we'll do the same thing for the debug configuration, except we'll add a dash "-d", before the extension of each file. All that's left to do now is to check if we've properly installed the library. So just create the main.cpp file and copy paste this code from the description into the file. If you now run the program, you should see a window with a circle pop up. If you instead get an error, then you've probably messed up a step along the way or there is a more specific error. I suggest googling the error, but if you can't figure it out, leave a comment below and I'll try to help. Now that you've got SFML set up, in order to learn how to do the stuff in it, I suggest looking over the official tutorials on the SFML website. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you want to chat, feel free to join my Discord server in the description. Also, a big thank you to all my Patreons who give me the opportunity to make content like this. As always, all relevant sources are in the description. Bye!